think it's something that was really awkward. Yeah, it's not for me. Not for the actors. We all get along really well. That's such a thing to say in public. Yeah. <laughs> you know, obviously, we say that it's true. Like, we all kind of get along. And... Oh, 
Oh, sure, yeah. We got a journey together. What about you guys? What about the Christian power? Well, I read that, of course. Christian power. Stop it. Christian power. Christian power. Christian power. about flying in the invisible side boat. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So I'm not limited? Okay. Um, I also have the power to heal. So that's pretty good. But I do like the speaking languages. It's just that I'm speaking you. Well, that's beautiful. Cool. <laughs> it is, though. Like, you know. Well, you don't know. Like, if you're at the... When the aliens come, it'll be really practical. <laughs> Get up and get some more powers. Because you're kind of you're kind of useless. <laughs> I I I've got this question before. I always say the ability to 80s montage my way through anything. <laughs> Okay. Um, so if you guys are, so we're good. So we just I just want to make sure that you know, these guys are going to stand up for now. Yeah. Right. 
So I think if we just tap the line to where we're at, I'm going to try, like you said, lightning round through it. So let's uh, speed through, go to the left. Cool. I'm Angie. Hi, Hi. 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 Um, I'm just wondering, what is your favorite personality trait or any other thing about your character? For me, um, I love that Zabos is, is infinitely sincere. I think he comes from like he comes from like a really good place, even though he gets super creepy and weird. So, like <laughs> what made him not, like really playable for me was that ability to be like, oh, he's he's trying to really help everybody around. I think the uh, thing that I'm most like about Codex is that she doesn't judge people. Uh, she always accepts them for who they are, and uh, no matter how where they are, it's just about kind of uh, her sort of helping them um, in a way that is very authentic. So we never called out people for a different in any way, and, and she, she never does that. She's always just like, I accept you for who you want to be, and let's just, you know, all go all. But I would say for me was uh, a person who has a mission to, to change the world for, for better, and um, I really appreciate your writing that for me, my character. It really touched me. It's fun for you. Oh, well. <laughs>
you know, get here or we're from the packed room uh, at, at, in Denver, Colorado, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, if you live without it, you won't do it. And I hate to be that like that, but like everybody wants to have that thing done, but it's who's going to sit down and do the work? And you have to have that inner parent in you to be like, well, if you don't do it, it won't get done. And can you live with yourself? Yeah. Is it important enough to you? Is it really important enough to you? Because if it really is, then you'll do it. If it's not, and it's just something that's a dream, you know, it's all, it's all work. It's all really, really hard work to get those dreams. Um, and it's about being able to balance that creativity, like I said, with your discipline inside you. Um, you're going to die. <laughs> You also have to kind of enjoy every moment and bring, and I think the key to that is really being happy with who you are as a person. It's not about getting somewhere, it's it's enjoying the journey along the way, whatever it is. And uh, just go, you know, again, have that vision, but be in the moment and, and really like who you are and what, you, what you're doing and who's around you. I think it's also really important to bring people around you that you care about. Uh, trying to get rid of the ones that are all about dramas and discord or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's so well said. Like, you can't go and just know when it's so uh, clutch. It's no wonder you're a tight chin master. Thank you. Moving back over the way. Hi, uh, I'm Jake. And um, what are your most interesting, crazy fan stories? <laughs> oh, what guy? <laughs> One guy um, wanted to take a picture with me, and I was like, yeah, that's fine, take a picture, that works. But he was already like kind of anxious while he was asking it, and I was like, uh-oh, there's a second part of this. And it was, uh, can I take a picture of you while cradling you? <laughs> Uh, the future of the show is 
up in the air right now. Uh, it's just a question of like what the best way to tell another story is in the world. I've been super busy. I got sick, actually really sick for about several months. I'm sorry. So that's okay. Everything online is like, uh, if you're a geek center, you probably have seen like, but I'm feeling much better now. I've just taken a while off, so it's kind of, you know, it's being figured out. Um, I don't know uh, about the web, uh, doing some more stuff on the web. Uh, it's just a question of um, what other ways we can tell stories. And uh, if you watch season six, I think we came with a really good circle of life, especially in the codex. And so it's just a question of when a really good story comes to me and where to tell it. So with that, guys, we now know that everything goes up in the air. And we're going to call it a night before the guild panel. Let's give our panelists a big <laughs> Yeah, we don't even know until we come out here, so.